Okay, so I um wanted to share this uh this dream that God gave me last night. Um I'm not a new believer, but I am I guess you can say that I've been seeking God um very personally on a very personal level uh the past say two months or so. And uh, the Lord's been revealing a whole lot of things about me that I needed to change just in general to kind of consecrate myself and get away from the world and just basically turn away from um, from sin in general. Uh, but he gave me this dream last night that I can't shake and I contemplated whether or not I would share it on YouTube, number one, because I'm a very shy and private person. Um, but I think this is something that people definitely need to hear because it's troubled my spirit so much. I've been like, I've been crying so much um, all morning. Um, but in this dream, uh, today is July the 20th of 20, 2021. In this dream, it is. It was as though that Jesus had came and left, and I was in the city, and in this city, uh, people were walking around, and the only thing I could observe was the entire city was scorched. It was, it was as if the, a fire had come through there, and everything was burned. Um, the houses were only white black and red which I still have not figured out what that symbolizes but I was walking around this neighborhood and there was no trees there was no signs of life um it was just very dull and it was as though like everything was just like completely burnt or scorched as though like a fire had come through there or something so I'm walking around and I noticed that there's this mist um, this flammable mist is the best way I can describe it. And every now and then it would, it would ignite or what have you. Um, I just want to fast forward to the part where I really didn't want to post this. But I've seen some kids uh, kind of crying. And I'm like, I asked them, like, well, what happened here? What's going on? And um, a little Latino girl, beautiful Latino girl, uh, I would say she was about 11, maybe, uh, said maybe 11 or 12. He told me, well, he returned. Jesus returned. And when he came down, everything suddenly went on fire and the earth caved in and left everything like this. And I was like, my God. And so, you know, I started walking around. I'm like, okay. And I noticed everyone in this dream it, it was as if they had no emotions is the best way to describe it. Um, everyone was apathetic, either sad or apathetic, like literally like just no emotions whatsoever. And then I hear the Holy Spirit speaking to me and it says to me that God is a consuming fire, which is why I see everything like this. So I'm like, wow, okay, so I'm not, I realize that God is allowing me just to observe um, the things that are going on. Um, so I begin to actually ask God to like, you know, let me see further into the distance. And I had like, somehow I had the ability to like fly and I kid you not, like the entire earth was like black or scorched, scorched is the, the only word I could use was everything was like burnt up. There was no trees. There was no water. There was no signs of life. There was just a few people walking around. And, um, I just get really sad. And so I'm like, okay, let me sit down and begin to pray for these people. Cause that's the first thing I thought was like, let me pray. And so as I get down, um, and it was like, it, something said that the Holy spirit had left. And so even as I began to gather my mouth to try to pray and say something, it was as though that God had removed that privilege. Like you could no longer pray like the spirit of God was gone and you could sense there was no uh no god so i was like well it, it was the strangest feeling i definitely have ever i can't even describe it but there was basically a void and an emptiness and you can tell that the holy spirit had left earth or 
you know, and with it, I got the revelation that God actually gave life. And so that was the reason why there was no trees. There was no, uh, no, no water. There was nothing signs of anything that was living. And so, um, I didn't have the ability to pray. It was, my lips were not allowed to pray. It was like, if, if, from what I gathered, like if people are left here after Jesus returns and you want to gather yourself to kind of even say anything to God, since there is no God, you can't pray. Um, there's no spirit to usher you into prayer. It, like right now is the time to pray. Right now, while we have grace and that opportunity, now is the time to pray for your salvation. Because once he's here and gone, it's just, he. it was like you didn't have the ability to. Um, and, uh, so I began to, uh, get really, really disturbed by that. And so as I'm kind of, God is kind of re removing me from this dream. I'm just seeing people walking around and they're, they were either sad or apathetic. Like they had either had no emotions or they were really sad. And as I'm moving up, I'm like, wow, God must really, really be tired down here. God is going to get rid of this place. God is really about to destroy this earth. He's going to destroy the world. I mean, uh, things can only go, uh, how did I, how, how did I say it? it was like, he can only take this for so long before he has to, uh, acknowledge his word and cleanse the world for your sin, you know? Um, yeah. So I, I just couldn't believe it. I seen some family members of mine that I'm praying how to like deliver this news to them, um, I I guess the basis of this message is that Jesus <laughs> Jesus is really coming. Like saints, it is time to um examine yourself. Um spread the news about Jesus and who he was and cover yourself under his blood and pray that we are found worthy to be uh, caught up with him. Um, and that was my dream there. And, um, hopefully this touches someone. And I told God, I know, like, I'm really afraid to like actually post on, uh, Facebook and, uh, YouTube, but I would feel I would be doing God a, a disservice. If